Today, I'm releasing an entire two hour course for free here on YouTube. This course is called Facebook Affiliate Mastery. Way before I started making money with videos on Facebook and teaching people how they can make thousands of dollars by uploading videos on Facebook, I was actually making money with affiliate products and services using Facebook ads and Facebook pages. And that's exactly what you'll learn step by step in this course. And today, even though some people might call me crazy for doing this, you're getting it for free. I could easily just continue to sell this course for over $100 if I wanted to, but I wanted to give back and offer you guys a lot of value for supporting me throughout the years. And so if you gain any value from this course, all I'm asking is that you subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below if you enjoy the course. All the resources and tools that I mentioned throughout the course will be found in the description below, so you can go and check them out. And also, if you want to learn how I actually pivoted from promoting affiliate products and services on Facebook pages to now making thousands of dollars per month by posting videos, check out Facebook Income School 2.0. The link is in the description below, but this is how you can monetize videos and make a ton of money by using Facebook's monetization tools. And with that, I hope you enjoy the course. First, let me give you an overview of what to expect in this course. In this course, you'll learn the proper step-by-step -step process of promoting affiliate products and services on Facebook, staying compliant by adhering to Facebook rules, and how to use automation and tools to earn more money from your Facebook page. My goal is simple, to ensure you have the knowledge, skills, and tools necessary to be able to make money from your Facebook page using alternative monetization methods and not just rely on Facebook's monetization features. It's really important you follow all directions in this course in the right order and not skip any of the lessons. So I want you to remember this quote by Walt Disney. The way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. So with this quote in mind, let's begin. All right, so let's talk briefly about what is affiliate marketing. In a nutshell, affiliate marketing is a type of performance-based marketing where you promote or recommend another person's or company's products and get a percentage of the sale, also known as affiliate commissions. You find a product you like, promote it to others, and earn a piece of a profit for each sale that you make. So let me introduce you to the circle of affiliate marketing. The first thing you're going to be doing is finding an affiliate product to promote. And don't worry, in this course, you're going to learn the top affiliate networks as well as how to find a winning affiliate product to promote. Then you start sending targeted visitors to that affiliate link. This is how we're going to be using Facebook to send targeted traffic, people who are the most likely to buy that affiliate product that you're going to be promoting. Once you start sending traffic to your affiliate link, a percentage of those visitors will purchase the product or service that you're promoting. Usually anywhere between two to 5% of the people who actually see the offer will go ahead and buy the offer which then means you will earn a commission for that sale. Then you repeat this process over and over again with multiple affiliate products, but sometimes you can find a winning affiliate product that can make you thousands of dollars without having to promote a lot of affiliate products. All right, so let's quickly review some of the main benefits of affiliate marketing and why I believe affiliate marketing is one of the best ways for you to start making money online with your Facebook page. The first thing is that you don't need to create your own product. You're basically promoting other people's products so you don't have to worry about creating a sales page, building a product, because most likely you can find a specific product in your niche that you wanna promote that is very high quality and pays really good commissions. Second thing is that you don't have to deal with customer support. That is handled by the product owner or the merchant. Another benefit is that we have a limitless amount of affiliate programs in every niche. You can basically find thousands of products to promote in every single niche that you can think of. So if you want to promote products about weight loss, making money online, personal finance, or any other niche that you can think of, most likely you'll find a product. Another great benefit of affiliate marketing is that it's available worldwide. And perhaps the best benefit of affiliate marketing is that there's an unlimited income potential. So you can definitely make as much money as you want with affiliate marketing. So if you want to make $100 per day, $500 per day, $1,000 per day, affiliate marketing has that potential. So now that you understand the basics of affiliate marketing, let's talk about the top affiliate networks and how to find those products. 
Now we're gonna start with the most popular affiliate networks out there. These are the ones that you can basically join for free. Some of these networks have no requirements in order for you to join and start promoting affiliate products. And others have a verification process, meaning that they'll review your account before letting you promote any of their affiliate products. All of these networks have thousands of products that you can choose from to promote as an affiliate. They've been around for years, so you know they're legitimate, so you don't have to risk whether or not they're gonna pay you your commissions once you start getting sales. So we're gonna take a look at some of these affiliate networks and what is the process to sign up. And then I'm gonna show you how to find an affiliate product to promote in one of these networks. So you can start setting up an affiliate campaign right away. All right, so first in our list is ClickBank. ClickBank has been around as one of the top affiliate networks out there for more than a decade. It's one of the easiest affiliate networks to join because as soon as you join, you can start promoting any affiliate product inside of ClickBank that you want. So if you wanna sign up, all you have to do is go to clickbank.com and click on sign up. You simply have to fill up a simple form with your name, email address, a password, and then continue to the terms and conditions. Once you're inside, you can go ahead and take a look at the affiliate marketplace and choose a product to promote. But we're gonna cover that in the next few lessons on how to properly choose an affiliate product to promote and what are some of the things that you need to look for in an affiliate product before you even start promoting it. We also have Share a Sell, which is another great affiliate network that you can join. They have thousands and thousands of products that you can promote, but the sign up process requires a verification process. So you do have to keep that in mind. They're going to have to approve your account. Again, the sign up process is quite simple you simply go to sharesale.com and click on sign up and go to affiliate sign up another one of this affiliate networks is jvsu this is more for uh, make money online products software and things related to building a business online you'll find a lot of affiliate products in that category and the sign up process it's quite simple then we have warrior plus which is an affiliate network where most of the affiliate marketers make their money in regards to make money online offers, software tools. Again, you get instant approval for Warrior Plus, but you do have to keep in mind that in order to promote, you have to request an approval. Then we have CJ.com. CJ basically has one of the largest affiliate networks when it comes to big brands. You'll find affiliate programs for Walmart, Best Buy, and many other big brands inside of CJ. Once you join, again, you need to request to become an affiliate in each of those individual affiliate programs, depending on what type of affiliate product you want to promote. Max Bounty is a CPA network, also with a ton of affiliate offers to promote, but it's a little bit more difficult to get into Max Bounty because your identity needs to be verified. You do have to go through an interview process in order to get approved, but once you get approved, you get access to thousands of offers that you can promote. Flex Offers is another great affiliate network which you can join. The process is quite simple. You simply have to sign up as a publisher. You do have to go through a simple approval process, but once you get in, again, they have thousands of affiliate programs and they also work with very big brands. And last but not least, the Amazon Associate Program, which is Amazon's affiliate program. They can pay anywhere from 4% to 12%, depending on which categories you're gonna be promoting. So this is if you want to promote uh, products specifically found inside of Amazon. The process to join, it's quite simple you get instant approval, but in order to keep your Amazon associate account, you do have to get some sales within 90 days. So that's something to keep in mind. Now we're gonna keep it very simple. And what I'm gonna do in the following lessons is we're gonna focus on ClickBank because ClickBank has one of the largest digital marketplaces for affiliate marketers out there. And I'm gonna show you step-by-step step the process that you need to do in order to run a successful affiliate campaign using Facebook. It's really important that before you even think about doing your first affiliate campaign, there are some Facebook rules for affiliate success that you really need to know. These are the rules that you must follow if you want a sustainable affiliate marketing business on Facebook, staying compliant to Facebook's community and advertising guidelines, as well as best practices for your affiliate campaigns. Rule number one, never do any direct linking to an affiliate offer. 
This means you never use your direct affiliate link in any organic or paid advertising using your Facebook profile or page. And if you try to create ads using your direct affiliate link, most likely those ads will get denied. Rule number two, don't ever spam Facebook groups or pages with your affiliate links. This is the easiest way to get reported and get your Facebook account suspended. Rule number three, before promoting affiliate products or services, read and learn about Facebook's prohibited and restricted content categories. This is a very specific section inside of Facebook advertising guidelines where it's going to talk about some of the content and products that you should never promote on Facebook. So below this video, you're going to find a link to this page where I suggest you take five to 10 minutes to go through this entire content categories and learn more about it. Rule number four, always use a Facebook page as the brand for your affiliate campaigns and ensure your affiliate promotions are closely related to the topic or niche of your page. And I see this mistake over and over again on Facebook. Facebook pages about cars, pets, promoting affiliate products that have nothing to do with the topic of their page. Rule number five, always use an affiliate funnel for every affiliate campaign inside of Facebook. And over the next few lessons, I'm gonna show you exactly what a Facebook affiliate funnel is and how you can set this up to make as much money as possible with your affiliate campaigns. All right, so let's talk about what is a Facebook affiliate funnel. A funnel exclusively designed to comply with Facebook's advertising guidelines and increase conversions for your affiliate offer to help you generate leads and sales in your chosen niche. So in this lesson, you'll learn all the steps that a Facebook affiliate funnel must have as well as a real live example of one of my own affiliate funnels. For now, let's take a look at what a Facebook affiliate funnel actually looks like. All right, so this is a template of a Facebook affiliate funnel. Every single part in this process has a purpose. So what I'm gonna show you in this lesson is basically why you need to have a Facebook affiliate funnel for your affiliate offers. So before you even think about promoting anything from ClickBank or any other affiliate network, you have to learn what a Facebook affiliate funnel is and how it works. So it all starts with the source of traffic. And of course, our main source of traffic is going to be Facebook, mainly through our Facebook pages. So we're gonna be posting on Facebook. We're also gonna be using Facebook advertising to generate traffic for our Facebook affiliate funnel. So the affiliate sales page is really not important right now because this could be anything. This could be any affiliate offer in any niche or any topic that you can think of. The process, however, is the same no matter what the affiliate offer is. So step one for setting up your Facebook affiliate funnel is to have a hook or an offer which requires visitors to give you their email address. The only reason why you need this is because we cannot, like I said in the previous lessons, we cannot direct link to an affiliate offer. So we cannot create an ad, we cannot do any type of advertising on Facebook directly to an affiliate offer. Instead, what we do is we mask that affiliate campaign using a Facebook affiliate funnel. The way we do that is by utilizing a custom opt-in page designed with a hook in order to gather as many leads as possible. The whole purpose of this hook is to build your email list. This is where the real money is made. And in the following lessons, you're gonna learn exactly why the most money will come from your email list. From your hook, we move on to our bridge page. This is where we deliver the promise from our hook. This could be an ebook, a video, a discount code, anything that you promise on your hook must be delivered on your bridge page. From this point, we start actually promoting our affiliate offer. Now from the bridge page, after we deliver our promise from our hook, we want to send our targeted visitors to our affiliate sales page. This is where they truly see what the offer is about. And at this point, your visitor becomes either a lead or they decide to purchase your affiliate offer. So of course, what we want them to do is to purchase the affiliate offer, but vast majority of people will stay as a lead because your whole strategy behind this is to follow up with an email sequence that will eventually lead to a sale. So the most money with your affiliate campaign on Facebook will not come from the front end 
will actually come from your email follow-up sequences, meaning that you'll make the most money from your back end work. Now this might look complicated, creating a hook offer, deliver a bridge page, and linking that to an affiliate sales page along with building your email list and doing a follow-up sequence. But it's not actually complicated if you have the right tools in place. And don't worry, in the following lessons, you'll learn exactly how to create your own Facebook affiliate funnel. We're actually going to reverse engineer one of my own affiliate funnels, which I'm gonna show you right now. This is my hook offer right here, as you can see. This is the custom opt-in page for a real live Facebook affiliate campaign that I'm running right now. I'm gonna show you how I created the hook offer. I'm gonna show you how to set up the entire page, how to capture the emails. I'm gonna show you how to set up your bridge page, how to make sure you get the most clicks possible to your affiliate offer from your bridge page. I'm gonna show you how to set up the follow-up sequence, how to build your email list. All of that will be coming in the following lessons. So by reverse engineering one of my own affiliate campaigns, I can show you each step of the process but this is the basic template of what a Facebook affiliate funnel actually looks like. And the main thing to remember is your affiliate offer could be anything. As long as you have this in place, you'll be able to start getting traffic, getting sales for your affiliate offers because what really matters is that you have this whole process in place. So in the next lesson, what we're gonna talk about is how to pick the right offer for your Facebook affiliate funnel. Because if you pick the right affiliate offer with the right hook, you have more chances of getting more sales from your front end advertising. In order to set up a Facebook affiliate funnel, we need to pick a high converting affiliate offer, which we use to create our hook to begin building our email list. So here are some of the things that you should look for when it comes to finding the right affiliate offer. Number one, we must pick an affiliate offer that is in the same niche or closely related to the topic of our Facebook page. This means that whatever affiliate offer you decide to promote has to match the category or topic of whatever Facebook page you plan to use to promote your Facebook affiliate funnel. Number two, the offer must look professional, have proven sales and pay at least 40% commissions in order to cover our advertising costs. So here's a golden rule when it comes to finding the right affiliate offer to promote. You must place yourself in the shoes of your potential customer and ask yourself, would I buy this? If you answer yes, then you proceed. If you answer no, then go ahead and pick another offer. So we're gonna be using ClickBank as our main affiliate network to find an affiliate offer that we can use for our first Facebook affiliate funnel. From this affiliate offer, we're going to create our hook, which is gonna put in place the entire Facebook funnel. And the reason why I'm sticking to ClickBank is because the sign up process, it's quite simple. It's available in multiple languages and they have thousands and thousands of digital products to choose from. So once you go to clickbank.com and below this lesson, there's gonna be all the resources. So you can go to clickbank.com and then you can simply click on sign up. In the sign up page, you can select a different language and then just fill up the form in order to complete your registration. Once you're inside, you added your payment information, you have your account fully set up, then you can go ahead to the left-hand side here scroll down you're gonna see here a little house and click on it this is the clickbank marketplace so we click on it and it's gonna take us to the full library of digital products that clickbank offers now the beauty about clickbank is that you can instantly become an affiliate of any digital product you don't have to wait for approval and once you start getting sales your commissions will be paid to you by the end of the month either by check or direct deposit. So in the ClickBank Marketplace, you'll find a bunch of categories. You can basically find any type of digital product inside of this category. And most likely, if you went through the entire course of Facebook Income School, of setting up your Facebook page, getting your first 10,000 followers, monetizing your Facebook page, you have a pretty good idea of what type of audience you have inside of that Facebook page. If you decided to create a Facebook page about gaming, you'll find a category inside of ClickBank that is all about games. So you can find a bunch of digital products that you can promote in the gaming niche. If you have a gaming audience on your Facebook page, because that's what your Facebook page is about, then most likely you'll find a product that matches that audience. 
The same goes if you have a Facebook page about health and fitness, if you have a Facebook page about uh, politics or parenting, if you have a Facebook page about a specific sport, you can find here a bunch of categories of digital products in each of those specific sports. Now, what are some of the things that you should be looking for in an affiliate product? Well, let's cover just the basics of what ClickBank provides. If you take a look here at the average conversion, this is how much money or commissions you can earn for every single sale. In the stats section right here, you can see that the initial conversion is $13.30. So that's how much money you can get initially if you get a sale. But because most digital products have different upsells and downsells, they offer different upgrades, that means you could make $142 per sale in commissions if someone decides to purchase the different upgrades that this product offers. Now, as you can see, this product also has a recurring rebuild. So that means it offers some type of subscription service that will pay you a recurring commission. Sort by, let's say, if you're looking for gravity. Now, what this means is that gravity is a very popular product that a lot of affiliates inside of ClickBank are promoting and having success with. The higher the gravity on a product, the more competition you'll find because that means more affiliates are promoting that product. Although you don't want to go for products with very high gravity because that means there's a lot more competition for that product. You also don't want to go for low gravity. No one thinks that specific product with low gravity is any good. So you want to go for somewhere in between. And of course, one of the first things that you should be doing is clicking on the product itself to see how the sales page looks. So as you can see, it's a very professionally designed sales page uh, with testimonials and it has all the information about what this uh, product actually is. So let's go back to the ClickBank Marketplace. So now I wanna show you how I picked an affiliate offer for my Facebook affiliate funnel that I set up for one of my Facebook pages. This is a Facebook page dedicated to just fitness videos, fitness information. And of course the page makes money with Facebook Instagram ads, but I could definitely use the audience that it has right now to start promoting affiliate products and make money from affiliate offers, not just rely on the Facebook monetization features. And because I built this page from scratch to close to 100,000 followers, I know that this audience is heavily into fitness, eating healthy, losing weight, nutrition, working out. And I know that over 60% of my audience are women. So with that information in mind, I can simply go on ClickBank and I can look in the category of fitness and health and see if I can spot a product that I could use for my affiliate offer and from there create my hook offer. So I'm gonna go to health and fitness. I'm gonna click the little arrow here so I can see all the subcategories within health and fitness. And I'm just gonna go to, let's say, women's health. Now we scroll all the way to the top and we start looking at what are some of the top products in this subcategory for health and fitness. And the reason why I chose this uh, subcategory is because like I said, I know that in my Facebook page, over 60% of my audience are women. So I wanna target women who are into fitness, losing weight, eating right, and working out. So I'm trying to look for a product that fits that category. So initially, I was starting to look at some of the top products in this subcategory, and I stumbled upon this specific uh, product that I wanna show you, and I believe it matches my audience quite perfectly because it's called Bikini Workouts. And as you can see, the average conversion for this product, it's about $20.57. So that means that's how much I can expect in commissions if I'm able to get some sales for this product. So the first thing we do is simply click on the page to see what it looks like. So the page looks quite professional. It has some great uh, brand recognition from other blogs and websites out there that are also into fitness and health. And you can see some testimonials here uh, from other users who have bought this product, so that's great. Page is well designed, it has a lot of information, and we're gonna scroll all the way down to see what they offer. So as you can see, it offers fitness videos, workout guides, a nutrition guide. All of that information is part of this product. So we're gonna scroll down, we have more testimonials, 
a quick frequently asked question and we have 100 satisfaction money back guarantee so that definitely increases our chances of getting sales and you can see the price here for uh, 29.99 of course most likely this product has some type of upgrades or upsells so there's a potential to make even more money so i believe this product matches uh, what my gym goddess page has in terms of its audience now that i found an affiliate offer i can go back to the clickbank marketplace and i can simply just click promote to get an affiliate link and as you can see this product is paying 75 percent commissions for every customer that i get so it's paying well beyond 40 percent 75 percent i'm very happy with that number now this is how you create your clickbank affiliate link first you can create an account nickname so whatever nickname or you chose for your clickbank account you simply enter that nickname in that space so i have a nickname here created and then you can also create a tracking id so this is an additional word that you can add to your affiliate link to know where your traffic is coming from that tracking id will tell you exactly where that sale came from so if i click on it you can see that i already have facebook ads here as one of my tracking ids so that's going to generate an affiliate link that i can use for my facebook affiliate funnel so i simply click on generate hop links and i have my affiliate link for this product right here so as you can see it looks very ugly i wouldn't actually use this on any type of facebook advertising and as you already know you should never use this in your direct advertising so the best place to use this it's going to be in our facebook affiliate funnel but before we even think about promoting this affiliate link we have to create our hook offer for our new affiliate offer so that's exactly what we're going to do in the following lesson i'm going to break down the process of creating your hook from your affiliate offer All right, so let's begin with what exactly is the hook offer? The hook is the first step in your Facebook affiliate funnel. It allows you to entice visitors to provide their email address in exchange for valuable information like an ebook, video, guide, and anything else that you want to offer. Your hook should always be free as this will be your lead magnet for your entire affiliate funnel in this lesson you'll learn the step-by-step -step process i use to create a hook offer that fits the affiliate offer i've chosen so that you can replicate this process as many times as you need to create your own hooks so in the previous lessons we talked about reverse engineering one of my own affiliate funnels and because I chose bikini body workouts as my ClickBank affiliate product to promote, basically my hook offer has to be quite similar to this affiliate offer. Because what I'm looking to do is send the leads that actually download my hook offer straight to the affiliate offer. Now, not everyone is going to buy right away, but that's okay. Because my hook offer is simply designed to get leads into my funnel. Once I get leads into my funnel, my email sequence kicks in and does the selling for me. What I did is I created something quite similar to what the affiliate offer is. Five steps to a bikini body in 60 days. This is only 12 pages and it's designed to be a PDF guide on how you can get a bikini body in about 60 days by following very simple and very effective guidelines on how to lose weight and some of the things that you need to do in order to get a bikini body in about 60 days so this free guide is my hook offer that i'll be using with my facebook affiliate funnel i probably spent about 15 to 20 minutes total to set this whole thing up so let's dive into what i did first first thing is Whatever affiliate offer you decided to promote, like I said, your hook offer has to be closely related to that affiliate offer. We're gonna be making most of our money in the back end. But if we make our hook offer closely related to our affiliate offer, we have more chances of getting upfront sales. So because the main claim of this digital product is get a bikini body in 60 days, what I wanted to do is pre-frame this offer with five steps to get a bikini body in 60 days. I went on iWriter.com, which is one of my favorite websites to get content. Now you don't have to use iWriter. There's many other websites out there that you can use for content, but this one is one of the cheapest sources that you can use to outsource content and get it 
really fast. I'm talking about less than 24 hours. Now below this video lesson, you'll find all the resources to everything in this lesson, so don't worry about it. So once you go into iWriter, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. Once you create an account inside of iWriter, you can simply add funds to your account and you can simply add anywhere from 20, 30 or 40 bucks if you're looking to create a guide with, let's say three to 4,000 words. And as you can see, this is my order for uh, what I was looking to get for my article to create my guide. And this was $33 spent for about 2,000 words. And let me show you exactly what I asked for. If I click on edit and click on edit project detail. So when I place the order, you can see that the project title was five steps to a bikini body in 60 days. Uh, it was an article, English language, in the category of health and fitness. Then if we scroll down, you can enter the number of words you want in that article. So on the instructions, I clearly stated that this was for a PDF short eBooks targeting women 18 plus who are interested in getting in shape, losing weight, and achieving their body goals. So my total cost for this was $33. Provide as much context as you can to the person who's going to be creating uh, this article for you. And 2,000 words, was enough for me uh, for my guide because it's supposed to be a short guide for people to download. And the process to order content through iWriter is quite simple. Once you add the funds, you simply go to order content. You can just enter the information on the type of article that you want. You can enter how many words you want. And as you can see, you can order articles of you know, 4,000, 5,000 words if you really wanna do like a really long ebook. But you don't have to spend that much in your hook offer because with your hook offer, the whole purpose is to provide uh, a little taste of the information that your affiliate offer is supposed to provide. Now, you don't have to outsource this if you don't want to. If you have the ability, if you know enough and you don't want to outsource, you don't want to spend, you know, 30, 40 bucks to uh, create this type of hook offer uh, for your affiliate funnel, you can do this yourself. But in my case, I wanted to get some good information on my hook offer and I didn't want to spend any time actually writing 2000 words on how to lose weight so my next step was to get a design for my uh, fitness guide so i went on fiverr.com and i basically found a simple gig a very professional looking cover for my mini ebook so let me show you what i paid for this what this was 12 bucks basically so in between uh, getting the content was $33 plus 12 bucks, 45 bucks in total to get my content and get my design for my hook offer. So we're going to be using this design for our Facebook ads and also in our Facebook affiliate funnel pages because we want to make it as professional as possible. So in the requirements, I stated exactly what I needed in the cover and how I was going to use uh, this graphic, a clear understanding on what to do and what I needed. When the job was done, they actually provided different styles of what I was looking for. And what I liked was this one right here, as you can see, um, if I click on it, I can show you how that looks. And then we have the other one, which was the one that I decided to use for my advertising. So once the article was delivered, I actually put all the content into a Google Doc and this is what it looks like. I place a cover image in my uh, front page and then you can see all the content here and basically I tweak the content a little bit uh, So it looks a little bit longer. So as you can see there's 12 pages in this guide I added some pictures like I said this whole thing for me it took me about 15 20 minutes I wanted to make sure that this hook offer look legit now at the bottom of this guide, You can see that there's a link to my gym goddess page, which is the page we're gonna be using to advertise this hook offer so total cost to set up my hook offer was about 45 bucks and about 20 minutes of my time to do this. Now, once I have this in a Google Docs, I can simply go on a file and I can download as a PDF format. And basically I have my PDF ebook. So this is the first step before building your actual Facebook affiliate funnel because without this hook offer, you don't have an affiliate funnel. You need to have an offer in place that you're gonna give away for free in order to get high quality leads into your funnel, which then later you can use to promote your affiliate offer. So now that I have my hook offer created in the following lessons, I'm gonna show you exactly how to create your entire Facebook funnel. 
how to create your landing page, how to create your bridge page, and how to link that to your affiliate offer. So in the previous lessons, we talked about what a Facebook affiliate funnel was. Well, it's time to build your funnel. Facebook affiliate funnel has a landing page, bridge page, ability to collect leads, a follow-up sequence, and has tracking installed to measure the success of your campaign. All of this can seem difficult if you never built one before, which is why in this lesson, I'll show you how to build one and even give you a copy of mine. Now, before we jump into the lesson, here's a quick disclaimer. I'm about to show you how I built my affiliate funnels using one specific software platform. Please understand that you do not have to use the same platform to build your funnels. As long as you can replicate all the steps in this lesson to create your funnel, you can use any software platform you want. However, if you decide to use the same platform, I'll show you how you can try it out for a full 30 days to launch your Facebook funnel. So we're finally at a point where we can start building our Facebook funnel. And what you're looking at is my landing page for my five steps to a bikini body in 60 day hook offer. Now on the bottom of the landing page, you'll find that there's this text here that says this site is not part of the Facebook website or Facebook Inc. This is something that you have to add to your landing page and your pages if you're going to be advertising on Facebook. So for my landing page, I have a simple call to action. So by entering the email address and clicking download free, it takes them to my bridge page. And this is what my bridge page actually looks like. Text here on the bottom of the bridge page, we have uh, saying thank you, you should receive your free guide in your email in the next 10 minutes. And then it says while you wait, click the image below to learn how these women were able to achieve their bikini body in just 60 days. So basically we're tying our hook offer to our affiliate offer right now. So guess what happens when they actually go here and click on this image? Well, you guessed it, it takes them to the affiliate offer. If we go back to the bridge page, this link right here is being tracked. I'm using a custom tracking link. So if you've never built a website before or a landing page or a funnel, this might look a little bit complicated because you might think, well, how do I build a website like this? For this specific funnel, I use a software called Kartra. There are many other software platforms out there that you can use to build landing pages and bridge pages. But the main reason why I use Kartra is because it's an all-in-one platform. It allows me to build my email list, create a follow-up sequence, sell products and services, build my funnels, all of that in a single place. Now the basic template for a Facebook funnel, as you can see, it's a simple landing page for your hook offer and then a bridge page. This is something that you can easily build on Kartra because it has multiple templates that you can basically edit with drag and drop features and you can get a landing page and a bridge page like this in just a few minutes by clicking on page. You can see here that on the left hand side it has multiple types of pages that you can build and if I go here for it says squeeze pages, you can see that it has multiple templates that you can easily just uh, click on it and start editing. But what I wanted to do is basically give you my own funnel that I'm using because if you don't have a software platform to build your Facebook funnel, you might as well use Kartra. And what I'm going to do is give you my funnel, change it however you want, add your own hook offer and get it ready to go in a matter of a few minutes. Now, one thing to keep in mind though is that Kartra is a monthly subscription service. So you do have to keep that in mind. But below this video lesson, you're going to find a link that if you click on that link, it's going to take you to a page like this. And all you have to do is scroll down and click on start your a trial. Kartra is going to give you the option to set up a 14 day trial plan for just one buck. They give you 2,500 leads initially, custom domain. You can send up to 15,000 emails per month, but if 14 days is not enough, I'm going to show you a simple trick to get a full month of Kartra. All you have to do is pretend you're going to exit the page and then this pop up and you simply click on yes, double my trial. It's going to give you a full 30 day trial for just one buck. You're going to be able to import my Facebook funnel into your Kartra account. And then you're going to have a full 30 days to launch your campaigns, do Facebook ads, do everything that you're planning to do with your Facebook affiliate funnel. So once you have your Kartra account, all you have to do is click here on the left hand side where it says my campaigns. And as you can see, I have here uh, already Facebook affiliate funnel. You're not going to see this with a brand new Kartra account. So all you have to do is click on 
available campaigns. Then go ahead and click on the green button that says import and simply copy and paste the code you're gonna find below this video lesson. Copy and paste this code in this little line right here and then click on next. And what's gonna happen is my funnel, my Facebook affiliate funnel is gonna show up in your account just like this. So I'm gonna click on it so I can show you how that looks. So I'm gonna go here to pages and it's gonna show up in your Kartra account just like this. So your next step will be to edit your landing page and edit your bridge page for your own hook offer. So you can change the color, text, anything you want inside of the landing page and the bridge page. So I'm gonna show you exactly how that looks. So we're gonna go here on edit. I'm gonna click edit here. So now we're in the editing mode of Kartra. So we can basically change anything in this landing page. We can change the text if we wanted to. We can make the text larger if you wanted to. We can just remove this image if we want to as well. You can replace it with your own hook offer, with a video, with anything you want. And Kartra is very beginner friendly. So you're gonna learn how to use it probably within the first 24 hours. If you copy and paste my Facebook affiliate funnel into your Kartra account, this is exactly what you'll be able to see exactly like this. And then once you start editing the landing page, you can change the color if you wanna do that. So for example, I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna show you how you can change the color. You can change the text if you want to. I can change the color here to something else. Let's just select blue and click apply. And as you can see, the color has changed. If you want to see how that looks on a tablet or if you want to see how that looks uh, on a phone, for example, uh, Kartra provides you with that little feature that allows you to preview basically how your page is going to look in different types of devices. So no technical skills whatsoever when it comes to edit your landing page or even create a landing page. But if you want to build it from scratch, you can also do that from Kartra. Then once you're done, you can simply click on the action and you can see preview here, or you can save the progress, or you can publish those changes live to your account. And if you made a mistake, you can simply click on undo, and as you can see, it's back to how it was in the beginning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here where it says publish live, get the page link, and basically I can just simply click on this little pencil icon and I can edit that link I can even set up a custom domain if I want to use a custom domain for my affiliate funnel. In this case, I'm not using a custom domain. So let's go back to our bridge page right now because I wanna show you how you can simply just edit your bridge page and exactly what I did, click edit again. Here we are at the bridge page and as you can see, very simple again, it says thank you and basically this is what uh, the leads actually see after they enter their email address, this is what they see next. And while they wait, there's a link here that you can easily just edit. So I'm gonna click here so I can show you how that links actually looks. So this is an image that I made using Canva. So I'm gonna show you how I did this, but if we go to link here, you can see this says link to external URL. So if we go down, this is a custom tracking link that's gonna tell me how many people are actually clicking on it. Kartra allows you to track clicks, visitors, conversions, and many other aspects that are gonna be really helpful if you plan to do any type of Facebook advertising. So I made this image inside of Canva, which is a free website that you can use. And that's the image that the leads are seeing once they land on the bridge page, they can simply click on it, takes them onto the affiliate offer, and from here they can decide whether or not to make a purchase. So if we go on Canva, you can see that this is basically uh, a very simple design. I took the text here and I added click here and I took those three images from the actual sales page. There's one and then we have another one right there and then uh, we have another one right there. So I took those images, I downloaded those images to my computer, uploaded them to Canva, added the same color that you'll find in the bridge page and landing page, and then just simply downloaded the entire image, uploaded that to Kartra, and added that to my bridge page. So instead of adding a button that just simply says click here, this is a more appealing way getting the leads to click on the image because they're seeing the results that they can get within 60 days, which is the promise that we made with our hook offer. Now there's one thing that you're really going to need in order to make this work, which is inside of Kartra, 
you're going to need to create a custom form for every single landing page that you want to build. So I'm going to click here on my forms. And as you can see, there's a form here named Bikini Body. When you import my Facebook affiliate funnel to your Kartra account, you do have to create a new form and then add that form to your landing page. So you would go to this green button right here that says Add Form, enter the name for that form, and just follow the process. So I'm going to walk you through that process right now by just clicking on Edit to show you what that looks like. It's a really self-explanatory process because Kartra makes it really simple to follow. As you can see, if I want to collect more information than just the email, I can simply click on new field and I can collect the name and email or phone number if I wanted to do that. In order to get the highest conversions possible, I would simply advise to just keep it the email address and don't ask for anything else. Because if you start adding more and more things, your conversions will drop. So we're simply gonna leave it with the email address Click save and then hit next. Single opt-in selected means that they don't have to confirm their email address. They can simply just enter the email address and once they click on download, it'll take them to the bridge page. Then we have the success page. As you can see, if I click change, I can select exactly from the list of websites that I have built inside of Kartra, I can select uh, my bridge page. So I already have that selected, but once you have the affiliate funnel imported into your Kartra account, you'll be able to select it from this list. So we're gonna click save and then hit next. Do not send any welcome message and that's because we're gonna be using a follow-up sequence which you're gonna learn how to set up in the next following lessons. So for now, we don't need to send any welcome message, just click on next. Now in this section, this is where you need to customize a little bit of the things that you're gonna be doing depending on what type of hook offer you have. Number one, you can assign tags to your leads. So for example, if you want to assign them a lead tag, you can simply do that and add a lead tag or create a tag to identify those people in your list. So you can create a list inside of Kartra and then every single time someone opt-ins to your landing page, they'll be subscribed to that specific list. And you'll be able to find them in that list and then they have sequences which is our follow-up sequence to follow up and provide the email with the link to download our free guide so this is something that you don't need to set up right away but you do need to have your uh, list created inside of Kartra then we can just move on to the next step form design you can just leave it as default and click on next so that's it now we have a form that's easily embeddable inside of any landing page that we want. And if you need to create your list first, all you have to do is click on My Communications, go on the top where it says List, and this is where you'll be able to see all the different types of lists, Bikini Body ebook list. So let's pretend you're done with your landing page and you simply need to add your opt-in form in order to start collecting leads. So if you imported my Facebook affiliate funnel, you can simply just click on edit and you can select the opt-in form from the list that you have created previously and simply just hit apply. Or another way to add an opt-in form to a landing page is by simply going to components and then we scroll down. You're gonna find here a field that says opt-in fields. We click on that and you can see that you can simply just drag and drop that to your landing page just like this. Then you can simply edit those fields by clicking on the little pencil icon. You can select a form and you can hit apply. So there you go. Now we have an opt-in form working with our landing page and every single lead is gonna go directly to our email list. So that's the process and I'm not gonna save this because this is just to show you uh, what you can do inside of Kartra and how I actually built my Facebook affiliate funnel using this software platform. And what we're gonna talk about in the next following lessons is how we're gonna track all this information, how you can track the clicks that come from this affiliate campaign and how we can see that inside of Kartra. So we can have a better understanding on whether or not our affiliate campaign is getting good results. So this lesson is gonna be all about tracking. 
One key factor to understand how your Facebook funnel is working is by tracking every aspect. Being able to track conversions, number of clicks, leads, and sales is a crucial part of running a successful affiliate campaign. So when it comes to succeeding with your affiliate funnel, one of the main things that you want to do is make sure you have all your tracking in place. Luckily, if you're using a tool like Kartra, it allows you to basically track every single aspect of your landing pages and bridge pages. So what I've done over the past few days, I started sending some traffic to my landing page just so I can show you how the tracking process works inside of the Facebook affiliate funnel. Now I have already set up all my tracking for my affiliate funnel. But when you're first launching your affiliate funnel, you will need to complete these steps in order to make sure that you have all your tracking in place before you even start sending traffic. So you wanna make sure you have your Facebook pixel install, you have your tracking links. First, we're gonna take a look at the conversion rates for my landing page. And for that, all I have to do is go to my pages and then go to analytics and click on conversions. Now what I have to do is simply select my Facebook affiliate funnel and I just go to the category where I have my pages and select my landing page. So as you can see, I'm already starting to get some information about my landing page. In this case, so far I had 164 visitors and 17% coming from desktop, 4% from tablet and 75% from mobile. As of right now, my conversion stands at 24.4%, which can definitely be improved if I do some tweaking to my ads or perhaps change some of the things in my landing page. So this number right here, it's basically the amount of people who have opt-in to my landing page over the past few days. So in our pages section, all we have to do is go to our landing page, click on edit, and then click edit again. Once we're inside our landing page, all we have to do is go here to the settings section, tracking code. We click on that and you can see on the bottom here that I already have my Facebook pixel installed. So as you can see here, it says embed Facebook ads tracking code. So I've already done that, but I want to show you how you can create a Facebook pixel tracking code from within your Facebook account so you can add it to your landing page. It's really going to help you do some retargeting, build an audience of people who have visited your landing page and even build an audience of people who have downloaded your hook offer. So it's going to provide you even more information so in order for you to get your pixel code all you have to do is go to your facebook ads manager from within your facebook ads manager simply click on business tools and select events manager so this is going to take you to your data sources where you can basically create as many facebook pixels as you want as you can see i'm already tracking my landing page i have my page view and i'm tracking leads as well so how do you create a Facebook pixel code. All you have to do is go to the plus sign here, this little button that says connect data sources. Then we select web and click get started. Then we're gonna select Facebook pixel, hit connect. We put a name to our Facebook pixel. In this case, we can call it, you know, our hook offer, whatever name we decide to do. And then on the website options, if you're using a custom domain, you would enter that custom domain in this section. If you're not using a custom domain, then you can enter just your Kartra subdomain. And I just hit continue. Now it's gonna ask you to install the code. Now the best option is to install the code yourself. So you simply follow the directions and click on copy code, hit continue. I would also recommend that you turn on automatic advanced matching so whatever information they provide on your landing page facebook can match that information and find their profile on facebook so now we just hit continue and your next step is to simply open the event setup tool now it's saying that we haven't received any events because we haven't actually installed the pixel yet so that's the first thing we need to do if we go back to our landing page in the embed facebook ads tracking code we simply paste that code into that little section and hit apply. Now what we want to do is also add this Facebook pixel code to our bridge page because we want to track the people who go from our landing page to our bridge page. So we're going to go back to our pages section in Kartra and we're going to click on edit to add that information. Once we're inside our bridge page, in order to edit that information, we go to the same spot, click on settings then go to tracking code and as you can see my facebook pixel is already installed in that section paste that code there hit apply and then 
save the changes. Now we go back to our data sources inside of Facebook. Mine is already working. It's pulling page view, people who are landing on my hook offer, and also people who are submitting their email address and landing on my bridge page. Initially, you're not gonna see any of that unless you actually get some traffic. In your Facebook picture, you're gonna scroll down and we're gonna look for a very specific section. And as you can see right here, it says Facebook track page view. Now, right below this, you're probably not going to see this line. If you want Facebook, your pixel to track the leads whenever they land on this specific page, your lead page, you do need to add this little line of code right below the page view. Once you do that, you simply click on apply, you save the changes, and now Facebook will pull that information. So by adding this simple little line of code right above script, now Facebook will actually track your page view and at the same time your leads because you have the code installed on both your landing page and your bridge page. So if we go back to our landing page and we check out the Facebook ads tracking code, you can see that in the Facebook ads tracking code for the landing page, I'm gonna scroll down here, you can see that it says, you know, track page view, this is the line of code, but there's no lead code right below this line. So go back to our bridge page, you can see that below this line, there is the lead code. So by adding this to your bridge page, only to your bridge page, you're telling Facebook, whenever someone lands on this specific page, this is considered to be a lead. So that's why you add this line of code only on your bridge page. The next thing we want to track is how many people, once they actually become a lead, how many people will be clicking on this image right here because this image once you click on it it will send you to the affiliate offer so we want to know exactly how many people are clicking on this image so we can better understand how much traffic our affiliate offer is actually getting so if i go to the edit settings of this image we're going to go to the link section and you can see that there's a custom link. It's not actually the ClickBank affiliate link that ClickBank provides. It's a custom tracking link inside of Kartra in order to have a better tracking of our affiliate offer. So in order to create that tracking link, we need to go my products inside of Kartra and then hit the tracking section. Then we scroll down and as you can see, I have a link created, a tracking link here that when you put your mouse over that, it shows the affiliate link for our affiliate offer inside of ClickBank. So it's telling me right now that so far it has received 30 clicks. So by having my custom tracking link created inside of Kartra, I can know exactly how many people are seeing the affiliate offer from within Kartra. So in order to create a new tracking link, all you have to do is go to track link. You provide a name for your link and we're going to select a traffic category so we're going to click on next and now it's going to say okay what exactly are we looking to track in this case external url and this is where we enter exactly that affiliate link from clickbank so i'm just going to enter clickbank.com as an example just to show you what it would look like and once you enter that affiliate link from clickbank you hit next so in this case, we're only tracking the click. So we're gonna click next. And if you wanted to add a tag, you can definitely do that. Meaning that if you want to know exactly all the leads inside of your email list on Kartra that has click on that link, you can create a tag for those people. So once you go back to your email list, you find all the people who have specifically clicked on that image to your affiliate offer. It's gonna help you identify those people who have shown an interest in your affiliate offer so in this case i'm not going to do any tags because this is just an example but we click next in this case because the sales are happening inside of clickbank we don't have a way to verify when a sale happens so in this case i'm not going to use dynamic tracking so i'm just going to click on create we have a link that now we can use to track exactly how many people are clicking on our image so we grab that tracking link and we go back to our bridge page and we paste that tracking link in that section hit apply and then save our changes and publish our page so now we have our facebook pixel installed in our landing page we're also tracking the leads coming from facebook pixel 
inside our bridge page, we're also tracking all the people who click on this image via our Kartra system. We also know how many clicks the landing page is getting, how many people are entering their email address. So we're getting all this tracking information from our Facebook funnel before we even do any type of advertising. So last but not least, you wanna know exactly how big your list is growing and how many leads you're getting on a daily basis. So for that, because we're doing everything inside of Kartra, we can simply go to My Communications and then we can go to Analytics and we can simply click on List. Now we simply select the name of our list. So in this case, we have Bikini Body Ebook List. And as you can see, we have a total so far of 58 leads that have submitted their email address. And just today we have two, yesterday we had seven. So now we're tracking everything. We're tracking our leads, we're tracking our traffic, we're tracking via Facebook Pixel, and we're also tracking on ClickBank. So the more you track, the better, the more information you have about your Facebook funnel, the better it is because you're gonna have more information where to improve. If you're not getting high conversions on your landing page, you can always go and change a few aspects of your landing page all of this data is going to help you create a better affiliate campaign understand your business better and you're going to have more control of what's happening with your affiliate campaign hey i just wanted to quickly pop in here and say that i hope you're enjoying the course so far if you want to learn how to actually build grow and monetize facebook pages then go ahead and check out facebook income school in the description below I show you exactly what's working now when it comes to building, growing, and monetizing Facebook pages and monetizing those pages with the latest monetization tools that Facebook has to offer. So if that's something you want to learn how to do, then go ahead and click the link in the description below. And now let's get back to the course. So we're going to talk about how to create your email sequences because the biggest factor that will increase your chances of getting affiliate sales from your funnel is having a strong follow-up sequence. In this lesson, we'll cover how to create an email sequence designed to get a sale. All right, so it's time to create your first email follow-ups because as I mentioned before, most of your sales will come from your email follow-up. So if you have a strong email follow-up sequence, you have more chances of getting affiliate sales. So in this lesson, we're gonna be using Kartra's Sequence Builder which is a built-in system that allows you to send automated emails to leads from your Facebook affiliate funnel. So the first thing we're gonna do is we need to go to My Communications and then head over to Communications and click on Sequences. In this section, you'll be able to create as many email sequences as you want for all your leads. As you can see, I have already built my own email sequence for my bikini body hook offer. So right now I have 59 leads that are going through this email sequence, which means they'll be receiving an email every other day for the next week promoting our affiliate offer. So I'm going to show you what those emails are. I'm going to show you how to add an email to your sequence. So just like tracking every aspect of your Facebook funnel, you want to have your email sequences in place before you start sending any type of traffic to your hook offer. You want to make sure that those leads get the appropriate follow up. And once you have those email sequences in place, you can start worrying about sending massive traffic to your hook offer. So what we're gonna do now is simply go here and click on edit because I wanna show you how to create those email sequences. So right now you can see the name of my sequence. I also have a public description of my email sequence. So we're gonna click on edit. So we're inside Kartra's sequence builder. And as you can see, I have about four emails right now on my first sequence. So the first email, we're simply delivering our promise. Remember, we're giving away a free guide on how to get a bikini body in 60 days. So that's my first email. That's my very first email that my lead will receive within the first hour of entering their email address. So as you can see, the first email, it's quite simple, quite short. Super glad you decided to download the five steps to a bikini body in 60 days guide. We promise you that you'll love the info. Then we have a click here to download link. So when the person actually clicks on this link, they'll be able to access our PDF download. So I'm gonna open this in a new tab so I can show you how that looks. And then we have our a free guide that they're able to access and download if they wanna do that. So they have all this information right here, as you can see. And what I'm using for this specific uh, PDF guide is using a free website called pdfhost.io. 
It's a free PDF hosting website. And then you can use that link basically to send it to people if they want to download that PDF file. That's what I'm using right here. And again, all the resources to this lesson are going to be found below this video. And the pattern that you're going to notice is that every single email, it's very short, very simple emails with clear call to actions. Let's start checking out some of the other emails because I want to show you what they look like. Here's the first email of the sequence. And as you can see, if I click here on preview, notice that it has a delay of one day. So 24 hours later, after they download my free guide, they'll be getting this email. Only the people who are subscribed to this specific email list, which is the Bikini Body ebook list, are getting this follow-up sequence. So in this case, I'm gonna open the email so I can show you how that looks. And notice that right now, we're starting to talk about exactly what's inside our free guide. Now, they already know about the offer if they click the link, the image on our bridge page. In some cases, some people will not click on that image so this might be the first time they hear about the affiliate offer through this email. But if they did click on the image on our bridge page and went to check out the affiliate offer, then this might be the second time they're hearing about our bikini body affiliate offer. And that's fine because most people will not take action unless they see something maybe five or six times. So you might need to send a few emails before they decide to actually go ahead and make a purchase. So let's go check out another of those emails I'm actually going to jump to one of the uh, last emails here and you can see that's another email that has another 24 hour delay. So after they get the previous email, Kartra automatically waits 24 hours before sending another email. So here's the email right here. And again, you can see the pattern. Emails are quite short, designed to get people to click on that link and go straight to our affiliate offer. Now let's actually go and create a new email that's going to be added to this sequence because like I said, it takes multiple emails to get someone to take action and the process is quite simple. So all we're going to do is we're going to go here, we're going to drag and drop this that says send email. We're going to just put it right here for now. So as you can see right now, it's asking me right after previous step, we're going to go to next. Uh, dating time, we're going to leave all of this as is. We're not going to choose a specific dating time for our email. So we're going to click on next. So now it's going to ask us for a name for this email. Body email number four. And we're going to click next. Now it's going to ask me what gateway are you going to send these emails from? And I'm just going to be using Kartra's email system. So I'm going to click next. So now we choose the people who are going to be getting this email. So we're going to hit select here and we're going to select subscribe to list and we're going to choose our list bikini body ebook list and we're going to click add. If the leads are subscribed to this list, that means they'll get this specific email in the sequence. So we're going to click next. Another cool feature that Kartra offers is for you to create split tests, meaning that you can create two different emails sent to the same people and Kartra is going to let you know which email is working best for you, which one is getting the highest open rate, which one is getting the most clicks. So this is definitely something that you can do. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. I'm simply going to do single email and click next. Now we get into the actual content of that email. So what I've done is I have already created an email that I'll be using in my sequence. So as you can see, I'm just going to copy here and I'm going to paste. And I'm also going to copy this content right here. Copy that and I'm going to paste it. So now we have the email in place. We're going to add our affiliate link to that email. So what I've done is I went ahead and created a tracking link for our affiliate offer, which is going to be used on this sequence emails. And I'm going to link it here to this spot. I'm going to make it a little bit bold so it stands out. So I'm going to paste that link. Simply just hit OK. So now we're going to do the same thing on our second call to action. So we go and click and add that link in. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to make sure that if you're reading this email, there's two call to actions. So if you click any of them, it takes you to our affiliate offer. So I'm going to make it a little bit bold so, to make it stand out. And now we have our email. 
Now, if you want to see a preview of that email, you can always click on send test email to get a preview on your inbox. So for now, we're just going to click to save the changes and see how everything looks. I just noticed that I need to make a quick change. I'm going to click on edit here because I set it up as a right after previous step. But what I need to do is set it up for after 24 hours because right after the previous step means simply that both emails will go at the same time. So I'm going to click on wait a number of days and basically what I need to do is set it for just 24 hours. So basically just one day after the previous email, which is exactly what I want for my email sequence. So basically I'm telling Karcha just wait 24 hours before sending this email. So I'm going to save those changes. And now we have our new email added to our email sequence. Our next step is to make sure that we add this new email to our sequence. As you can see, it says inactive right now. So we need to make sure that this email is active and added to our email sequence. So to do that, we simply unlink our email number three from the complete box, which means once you set up the complete, it's going to end the sequence. But in this case, we're going to be linking email number four to email number five. So we're going to move this a little bit. so We can organize it a little bit better. And now we simply just link email number four to email number five and then just email number five to our complete sequence. So as you can see, it's quite simple to do. No technical skills required whatsoever. So when you're setting up your sequences, make sure that each email is linked to each other. So email number two to email number three, number four to number five. No matter how many emails you have, you have to make sure that all emails are linked. So we're going to activate this email and now it's part of the complete email sequence. And whenever you want to complete a sequence, all you have to do is add this complete box at the end of your last email. So just click done and exit and all your sequences will be safe. Your sequences will be ready to start sending out. All right, so I just show you how you can edit an email and add that email to a sequence. But what if you simply want to create a brand new sequence? Remember, you can add as many sequences as you want. So all you have to do is click this button that says add sequence. And what's going to happen is you can start this process from scratch. So we're going to create a test sequence to show you the process from the beginning if you want to add a brand new sequence. So on the left hand side, we have all the menu options to start creating your sequence but your very first step should be your starting rule simply click on the plus sign you click on list and you select from which list you want to start the sequence so in this case we're going to select the bikini body leads we're going to click add and then we simply just save our changes now this is the very first step so from here you need to simply start creating your email sequences by just dragging and dropping your first email just like we did in the previous steps just like i show you you go through all this entire process of setting up your emails and then you link uh, the emails with each other so the first step is linking your starting rule with your first email and then your first email with your second email and so on and so forth so this is basically how you can create automated email sequences inside of kartra and in the next following lessons we're going to talk about how to take this to the next level how to make even more profit from affiliate marketing using email sequences. In this lesson, we're gonna talk about how to create a hot audience for your Facebook funnel. Because we're using our niche Facebook page as a launch pad to generate initial interest in our funnel, it's important we create targeted audiences that are the most likely to take advantage of our hook offer. These audiences can be used to ensure you get a higher conversion rate for your funnel because they're already familiar with your brand. So let's talk about creating your hot audience that we're gonna be using in our future advertising for our Facebook funnel. All you have to do is go to your Facebook Ads Manager. Once inside your Facebook Ads Manager account, all you have to do is go to the dots here and click on Audiences. Then you'll be able to see a page just like this. If you already have audiences created, it might look a little bit different because most likely you already know how to create audiences based on our Facebook Income School training. However, the audiences we're gonna be creating are specifically to target with advertising for our Facebook funnel. So there's two types of audiences that I like to create and what I call a hot audience. And we created this entire funnel specifically based on our audience in our Facebook page. So if you have multiple Facebook pages, you should always use a Facebook funnel 
for each page. If I have a fitness page and I have a sports page, for example, I cannot use my hook offer, my Facebook funnel offer and promote it on my sports page because those are two totally different audiences. So you should always be creating your Facebook funnel around one specific Facebook page. I'm gonna be using my fitness Facebook page in order to create a hot audience that is more likely to engage with my hook offer. And the reason is obvious. I know that the people who have liked my page are into fitness, eating healthy, getting in shape, working out. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a safe audience that we're gonna be using in future advertising of everyone who has liked my page. And this is exactly what you should be doing as well with your own Facebook page. So we go to create a safe audience. Then we head over to audience name. And I'm just gonna name this like Jim Goddess page. These are people who have like my Facebook page. When it comes to locations, I wanna make sure that I'm targeting countries that have the ability to complete a purchase inside our Facebook funnel. So mostly you wanna target tier one and tier two countries. I'm only gonna be using the United States, Canada, and I'm simply gonna use Europe. We wanna go as targeted as possible for our Facebook affiliate funnel. So let's scroll down and we know that the affiliate offer and the hook offer we chose is mostly targeting women. We wanna change this to women. I also wanna change this to 21 and up. When it comes to languages, because our Facebook funnel is in English, I wanna make sure that I'm targeting only English speaking people. So I'm gonna select here English. And if we go up, you can see that it went down to 190 million people. That's still a lot of people. So we're gonna go down here and I'm gonna go to connections. In connections, I'm simply going to select everyone who has liked my page. So I'm gonna scroll down here. And I'm gonna enter the name of my page. And if we go up, you can see that's 9,600 people. So that's my hot audience from my Facebook page. And I'm simply going to hit create safe audience. Now we have our first hot audience created. So let's create our second hot audience that we're gonna be using in future ads. And for that, we're gonna go here to create audience. We're gonna click on custom audience. We're gonna select here Facebook page. And as you can see, Facebook is gonna ask me, okay, what type of people do you want to add to your audience? So in this case, I want everyone who has engaged with my page, highly engaged with my page, meaning that they have liked one of my posts, they have shared something, they have left a comment, because you'll also find a lot of people who have engaged with your content on the Facebook page, but not necessarily like your page or follow your page. For the name of our audience, we're gonna put engage with Jim Goddess. Add a quick description, I've chosen in the last 365 days and I'm gonna click on create audience. All right, so it says that our audience will take a few minutes to create. So I'm just gonna click on done. So these two audiences will give us a head start when it comes to our marketing specifically on Facebook ads because these are the first audiences that we should be using to test our hook offer to see if it's actually converting. If we can get this audience to engage with our ad, then we know our hook offer can work. So hopefully that makes sense and you can see that why it's important to start with your hot audience first before you create any other type of audience to be used in future advertising. So in the following lessons, we're gonna talk about how to create additional audiences that you can use for advertising. And the goal is to have as many safe audiences as possible so we can create as many different types of variations for our ads because we wanna test different ads, we wanna experiment to see what's working, what gets the most clicks, what type of ad and what type of audience gets us the most leads. All right, so now let's talk about how to create a cold audience. And in this lesson, we're gonna use Facebook advanced targeting filters to create a lookalike and niche related audiences that don't know our brand, but have expressed an interest in our target niche. The goal is to create audiences that we can target with advertising who are likely to become leads in our Facebook funnel. 
All right, so we're back inside our audience manager and we're gonna be creating multiple cold audiences that we can use with Facebook ads in order to ensure that we get more traffic to our Facebook funnel. So we're gonna be creating ads targeting both our hot audience and our cold audience. And we're gonna see which ones are getting the most clicks, which ones are getting higher conversion rates. So the first thing we do is we go to create audience and first we're gonna talk about lookalike audiences. So I'm gonna click on lookalike audiences. What a lookalike audience is, is Facebook will try to find people similar to a specific source. So you provide Facebook with the source and if Facebook will find a group of people with very similar interest to that source. So let me give you an example. Remember how we talk about why it was important to track every aspect of your Facebook funnel and also why adding something like the Facebook pixel was gonna be really helpful down the line. Well, this is one of the reasons why. When we go ahead and click here, you can see that one of the things that Facebook is allowing me to create a lookalike audience from is from the Facebook pixel that we have installed inside our Facebook funnel. So if you take a look right here on the right hand side, it says your source captures visitors traffic and behavior. So that means that once you start getting a lot of traffic to your Facebook funnel, let's say your first 1000 visitors to your Facebook funnel, because you're tracking that with your Facebook pixel, you can go back to your audience manager and you can create a lookalike audience from your Facebook pixel. And right now I don't have enough traffic or information on my Facebook funnel to be able to create a lookalike audience from the pixel. But once I reach a thousand visitors to my Facebook funnel or more, then I can go back and create this lookalike audience because Facebook will go out and find people who are more likely to engage with my ad because it's picking all this information and data from the Facebook pixel. So this is why we're tracking everything through Kartra because we need to know how many visitors our Facebook funnel is getting. So once we have enough visitors, we can go back and create our lookalike audience from our Facebook pixel. Right now, like I said, we can't do that. We don't have enough information, enough traffic to be able to create something like this. So I'm just gonna exit here. And what I'm gonna do basically is I'm gonna try to create a lookalike audience from a different source. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna go to other sources. Now you can see that one of the audiences that is coming up is one of the safe audiences from our hot audience that we created for my fitness page. So I can definitely create a lookalike audience from people who have engaged with my gym goddess page. So I'm gonna select that one. And now it's gonna ask me for the audience location. Of course, I want tier one and tier two countries. So I'm gonna select here, United States. I'm gonna go ahead here, countries, and I'm gonna go to Europe here. And I can select all of these countries if I want to, or just click on select all. So now we have a list of countries that we are gonna use to create a lookalike audience based on people who have already engaged with our target page. So I'm gonna go down here. It's gonna ask me select number of lookalike audience. I only want one. So a 1% lookalike audience consists of the people most similar to your lookalike source. And that's exactly what I want. So I'm not gonna change this. I'm just gonna leave it to 1%. So now we're gonna go ahead and create our second cold audience. So for that, we go to create audience and we're gonna select save audience. Now we're gonna create an audience based on people who are more likely to be interested in the niche of our Facebook funnel. So we're looking for people with very similar interests. And because Facebook knows a lot about its users, we can basically use the Facebook targeting tool to find specifically the type of lead we want for our Facebook funnel. So I'm gonna show you how to narrow this down to find the perfect lead for your funnel by creating multiple cold audiences that we can target with our ads. Now we already went through this process creating our hot audience. So basically what I'm gonna do is add my audience name for this specific cold audience. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select my locations, pretty much the same locations that I use for my hot audience. So I've named this cold audience the fitness niche because we're targeting the fitness niche and I added my three locations. As you can see, we have a lot of people to target. So I'm gonna narrow this down. I'm gonna go ahead and select women and also change the age to 21. Now, if we go see how many people we're actually targeting with our audience, you can see that's still a lot of people, 340 million people. I'm gonna go ahead and select language as English. 
All right, so now we have the basic targeting options for our audience, but we need to go deeper into this audience and find the people who have an interest in the type of offer that we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna to go to browse on the detailed targeting section. And in that section, Facebook has an interest category. Keep in mind that no matter what type of Facebook page you have or what type of affiliate offer you're doing on your Facebook funnel, most likely you'll find a category inside of the targeting options that Facebook is giving you. So by clicking on specific categories in this detailed targeting section, I can select the type of people that I want for my audience and as you can see there's a bodybuilding section there's multiple different targeting options that i can use to create my audience specifically for the type of offer that i want to run on facebook so i'm adding multiple different targeting options here things related to fitness because that's the type of offer that i want all right so i added multiple topics from the browse section so now we're going to jump into the actual interest based topics that facebook allows me to search so i'm going to use different terms and keywords to find those audiences and topics that i can add so for example if i type weight loss as you can see facebook is suggesting multiple topics and terms that already have an audience inside of facebook so i can easily just find more topics to add to my total audience, allowing me to grow my overall audience. So weight loss, by clicking on that, it's simply adding more people to my audience, as you can see. So now by just typing something like fitness, I can find even more topics that I can add to my audience. So now we have muscle and fitness, which is a brand. I can add that to my audience and it will increase even more. So you get the idea, you start experimenting with this filtering tool and you start adding different topics to see if you can find very specific uh, topics that you can add to your audience. So I added multiple gym brands because I know that if you go to the gym, most likely you're into fitness. So let's say you want to narrow this audience because it's too big. Well, Facebook has this feature that allows you to basically narrow your audience even more. So they have to match two specific interests in this case, if you choose those interests, that audience has to be in both. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and type bodybuilding. And as you can see, I can just add bodybuilding to my audience. So what it's telling Facebook is finding me people in this audience who not only fit this interest, but are also into bodybuilding. That would automatically shrink my audience, as you can see, to 19 million people. So you can use this narrow audience tool that Facebook offers to create as many matches as you want. So you wanna make sure that in these audiences they match multiple topics. So that way you're gonna get a really targeted user uh, to build your audience from. And hopefully from that audience you can find high quality leads for your Facebook funnel. So I'm not gonna be using this uh, narrow audience because I wanna leave it a little bit broader. As you can see, we go back to 90 million plus people and basically once you're done creating your audience all you have to do is simply click on create safe audience so now we have multiple audience that are ready to go to start using you know advertising for our facebook funnel and one of the main audiences that you'll be able to use once you start getting traffic to your affiliate funnel and this is why one of the main things that I've been telling you is that you have to track every aspect of your Facebook funnel because by adding your Facebook pixel and tracking your clicks and traffic and all of that, it's going to allow you to go back to your audience manager and be able to create a lookalike audience from the traffic that you're already getting on your Facebook funnel from the Facebook pixel. So that's the next audience that you will need to create once you start getting traffic from these audiences that we have created both from the cold and hot audiences so in the following lessons we're going to start talking about how to start getting traffic from these audiences now before we do any paid advertising it's really important that we test our funnel to see if everything is working properly and the best way to test our hook offer is by using the piggyback method, which consists of using your organic page post to drive targeted free traffic to your hook offer. And this is the most effective way to get quick traffic to your funnel and test your hook. So let's talk about what this piggyback method is and how to set it up. And basically the piggyback method is by utilizing your organic posts on your Facebook page, your regular everyday posts, your videos, your images to basically promote your Facebook funnel. So this is the best way to test 
whether or not your Facebook funnel converts because you're not going to be spending any money whatsoever. So I'm going to go here to my section inside of Kartra and I'm going to click on get code or link. Get the page link. I basically just copy that um, web address. Then I use a website like Bitly to create a short link that I can use in the comment section. But you would simply go to create. You would then just paste the web address for your hook offer. So you can customize the back end of your Bitly link. So in this case, I'm just going to type something like bikini bot 2 and I'm going to click on save. So now I can just copy this link right here and I can use this link basically to track how many clicks my link will be getting not only through Kartra but also inside of Bitly. So now that we have the link, our next step is to go to our main Facebook page. The Facebook page we're going to be using from now on to promote our Facebook funnel. The Facebook page that I'll be using to promote my Facebook affiliate funnel will be my fitness page. So we're going to talk about some of the things that you need to do in order to ensure that you want to make as much money as possible from your views and your content. So you, you don't want to hurt your chances of reaching more and more people with your everyday posts. So let's go to another post. Let's say that I added a link to my hook offer right here on top. There's a chance that that could hurt my reach for that specific video because this is something that I've tested over and over again in multiple Facebook pages. And when you add a link sending people outside of Facebook, Facebook doesn't like that. And so they limit your reach. So that's why you'll find that it's best not to include links uh, in the context of your post. And so this is what I like to do instead because this is what I call the piggyback method because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding our link to um, the comment section of our post. That way we don't have to worry about whether Facebook is going to limit the reach of our post. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new post and then I'm going to add my link to the first comment of that post. So I'm going to click here where it says create post and I'm going to select video. Now I simply go through the process of uploading my video just like I do any other video. So I've finished uploading the video and added uh, the title of the video and also a little context for my video. And I simply just, if I want to select a different thumbnail, I can definitely do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let me just select any, this one right here and make sure ink stream ads it's on. And then I just simply hit next. Now we get the option to publish our video. Now for the sake of this lesson, I'm not going to schedule this video or anything like that. I'm going to publish this video right now because I want to show you once you start using this piggyback method, the more you post, the more traffic that you can get to your Facebook affiliate funnel. So I'm going to hit publish now and make sure that this video is published on my Facebook page. All right, so now we have our video on our Facebook page. So let's talk about the next step, which is what exactly this piggyback method is. And what we're going to be doing is basically just utilizing the organic posts on our Facebook page to get free traffic to our hook offer. The bigger your page, the more followers you have, the more reach your posts get, the better for your hook offer, because that means you're going to get more traffic right away. So this is the best way to get free targeted traffic to your Facebook affiliate funnel without spending any money, just doing what you're already doing. So basically what you want to do is you want to go back to Bitly, you want to copy that link uh, and you want to create a simple message that you can post on every new post from now on, let's say for the next three or four days, you want to be using the same exact message. That's exactly what I've done. I created a simple message here, which I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it here in the comment section and just hit enter. As you can see the comment now it says it's coming from the author of the page, which that brings you instant credibility. So if you wanted to, you can remove the preview and just leave it like that. The main goal of your Facebook page, whatever Facebook page you're using for your Facebook affiliate funnel is to feed traffic to that affiliate funnel because the Facebook page should have a targeted audience that will give you the insights on whether or not your Facebook funnel is working. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about how to get your ads approved. 
Without a doubt, the best way to scale your traffic as quickly as possible to get as many leads as you can into your Facebook affiliate funnel is using Facebook ads. But getting your ads approved for an offer can sometimes be tricky. In this lesson, we'll cover the best practices to stay compliant and not get your Facebook ads account banned. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to do some research. And one of the best free tools that Facebook has created is the Facebook ad library. And you can definitely use this tool for research purposes to see what type of ads in your niche have been approved or denied by Facebook before. So I like to use this tool basically to get some ideas on what type of ads are being created in the niche that I'm planning to advertise. So one of the first things that I like to do is go to the Facebook ad library and simply type a specific keyword or a specific page that I want to research to see if they're running ads. So I'm just going to type something like fitness and see what comes up. And as you can see, it gave me fitness motivation. So I'm going to click on that. I'm just going to select all, not just the United States. And I'm just going to take a look to see what type of ads have been made with uh, in this category or in this niche. So you can use this as a way to research to learn what type of ads are being approved by Facebook and get an idea on what you can do for your own advertising. So I'm going to go all the way up. If you see a page on Facebook that's been running an ad in your niche, you can go ahead and find the page inside of the Facebook ad library and see all the ads that they have run in the past and the ads that are running now. And you can kind of reverse engineer exactly what they've done so you can create your own ads. But now let's talk about creating our own ad for our Facebook affiliate funnel. So for that, I like to use Canva. And Canva is a pretty neat tool because they already have templates that you can use and edit to create Facebook ads. So you can simply click here and just type Facebook ad. And as you can see, you get different options for whatever types of ads you need to build. You can even create ads for Facebook stories. I already created an ad using one of these templates. I simply took the image that I paid for on Fiverr, that cover image that we created for our guide, for our hook offer. And using the free tools that Canva provides, all I did was add download and free and that's it that's my image ad now one of the key things that you need to remember is that your ad cannot be more than 20 percent text so because this image already has some text on it i cannot add even more text to my ad so i simply added download free now the question is would an ad like this actually get approved well i can tell you for sure that indeed it gets approved as you can see right here i'm testing multiple ads already with a very small budget so I'm going to show you those ads right now and you can see here bikini body image ad and I'm going to preview the ad and there you go this is the ad as you can see it has the same image that I've created using Canva and the ad was actually approved with no problem but keep in mind that this is just an ad and you do have to experiment you do have to try different ads not just different audiences but different ads because you want to make sure you find it high converting ad your goal is to send as much traffic as cheap as possible to your facebook affiliate funnel so you can try different ads so you can try different designs you can try different audiences and the more ads that you test the more data you'll have so one of the main things that I would highly recommend you do, go to Canva and try to replicate that ad with a different design. Something quite simple to do, I can simply just click here to duplicate the page and basically it's gonna create a copy of that first image. And the beautiful thing about Canva is that they have a lot of photos and pictures and things that you can use for free. So we're gonna go here to photos. So I type bikini and as you can see, there's a bunch of pictures here. Uh, from Canva, some you can use uh, while others you have to pay for them, but I would just simply stick to the free one. So for example, I could probably just use this one right here in this space right here and perhaps make it a little bit bigger so it stands out a little bit more just like that. And now I can just move this to the back 
and there we go now we have a new image ad that we can try and we can see whether this one converts better than this one and we can test different ads the more ads you have the better once you find that winning ad that gets you consistent leads as cheap as possible you can keep running that ad over and over again So it's time to start testing, testing, testing. We're at the stage where we can begin testing Facebook ads to send targeted leads to our funnel and start fitting our tracking codes with information to better manage our campaign. The one thing to always remember when it comes to Facebook ads is that testing and experimenting are the key to how successful you'll be. All right, so in this lesson, we're gonna start creating some Facebook ads using the previous audiences that we have created. So in this case, we have four audiences that we previously created, and we're gonna be using these audiences first in order to test different ads. The one mistake that most people do when it comes to Facebook ads is that they set up one campaign with one ad and expect to succeed with that ad. The truth is you have to set up multiple campaigns, multiple ads. You have to test to see what is working, what is not working, how much money you're spending, how many leads you're getting, all that information in order to find a winning ad. So I'm gonna go here to my ads manager, but what we're gonna do now is basically start creating our first campaign. What we're gonna do is simply go to create a campaign now, when it comes to creating a campaign for your a Facebook affiliate funnel, you have multiple options. You can either select traffic, meaning that you want to pay per click for each click that goes to your affiliate funnel to your landing page. Or in this case, if you want to use the Facebook pixel to know exactly how much you're going to be paying for each lead, you can select conversions instead. Now, conversions can only be selected once you have your Facebook pixel install and verify. Everything that we did comes down to making sure that we can track every aspect of our ads. So I'm going to go ahead and start with conversions. So I'm going to select here conversions and I'm going to go to continue. So here's my next step. Now I'm going to simply name my campaign. And as you can see, I have a previously set up campaign called Bikini Body Ebook Campaign 1. So I'm just going to name this. So we have a name. And now what we're going to do is basically we're going to tell Facebook, I want to know exactly how much it's going to cost me for each lead that goes through my landing page. So I don't have to do anything right here. I just scroll all the way down and just click on next. So now we start setting up our ads and as you can see, it says ad set name. We're going to name this. We're going to be using that new image that we created in Canva. Have to select the pixel right here from the list and it's allowing me to select the pixel right now. And as you can see, that's the name of the pixel that is installed inside of our Facebook funnel. So now it's going to ask me to select a conversion event. Remember how we added a code to ensure that we can track the leads that go through our funnel? Well, right now we're simply tracking page views and leads. So I'm going to click here and I can select lead right here. So now we move on to our daily budget. And this is really important because you don't want to start with a very high budget initially. Remember, we're simply testing different ads to see how they behave and what type of results we can get with these ads. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a really small budget of just $2.50 per day for just the next few days. I'm gonna scroll down and right now is our targeting audience. This is the type of audience that we're gonna be targeting with our ad. And remember, we set up four different audiences that we're gonna be using for our ads so we don't have to guess uh, who, who to target with this ad because we already know who we're gonna target. So we're gonna go here to use save audiences and as you can see we have two audiences that we previously set up. One is the fitness niche audience, this is a cold audience and this one is the light gym goddess page which is coming from our hot audience. So I'm gonna start with that one first it automatically fit all the information that we previously created when we were setting up our audiences. So I don't have to do anything else here, just go to the manual placements. So right now for this ad, we're gonna be targeting 9,600 people. So we're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna select specifically where we want this ads to show up. So I'm gonna scroll down because I don't wanna leave it automatically. I wanna actually choose where I want these ads. So I'm gonna click here 
so I want the Facebook news feed I also can select Instagram feed if I want to the Facebook marketplace I don't want the Facebook video feeds I can leave it for the Facebook right column Instagram Explorer and messenger inbox I'm not going to select that one so these are the ones that I want for my feed and for stories I don't want for any of my stories because I haven't set up any ads specifically targeting stores but I prefer to set up individual ads just for stores so that's why I'm not going to be selecting story for this one Instagram ads I don't want to select Instagram ads because this is not the type of advertisement I want for in video so I'm going to deselect that search I don't mind leaving search because that could be someone searching for fitness content and they might stumble upon my ad so I'm just gonna leave a search for messages I don't want messages this is for uh, Facebook instant articles and right now a good source to send targeted leads to my Facebook funnel because they might be reading an article related to fitness Facebook instant articles on and for apps and sites I don't want uh, any apps and sites outside of Facebook or Instagram so now it's time to move on to the next step so we simply go to next so now we can set up our first ad so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna name this just so I remember what type of image I'm gonna be using so Facebook page identity we're gonna be using my fitness page I'm gonna scroll down and we're gonna be using single image or video scroll all the way down and now we get to set up our ad so the first thing I want to do is upload my image okay so I uploaded my image and as you can see this is how it looks uh, on every single different format that Facebook and Instagram currently offer so it looks quite good I think it's gonna grab people's attention so the next step is to simply set up our ad so this is my ad for a limited time we're giving away for free our complete guide on how to get a bikini body in just 60 days download it below free for headline I'm just simply going to enter description I'm not going to enter anything for description and for website this is where we enter our link for our landing page and of course we're gonna be tracking this specific link and we're gonna be tracking this so you can know exactly what your conversion rates are gonna be remember tracking is crucial if you want to know whether or not a campaign is work so from inside Kartra we can go to my products and then head over to tracking inside of tracking we can create a new tracking link so we're gonna click on add tracking and for this one we're gonna use the name of our audience so we can remember that we're gonna be using this link specifically just for this audience so I name him bikini body at gym goddess followers so I know that what this means is that this tracking link will only be used with the audience of people who follow my fitness page we're gonna select the category here go to Facebook ads because this is gonna be Facebook ads so now I'm hitting next and it's asking me what where do I want to send this traffic to so I'm gonna select Kartra page and I'm gonna select the page from my funnel so it's gonna be my bikini body ebook page and select that and simply click on next it's gonna ask me do I want to track the clicks only and yes that's my only option do I want to add a specific tag to my link so no I'm gonna click next it's gonna ask me if I want to enter the cost per click so I don't have that information right now because I'm simply setting up the ad so I'm gonna simply just create the link basically just copy this we go back to our ads manager and we're going to paste that link in there and we're mostly ready to go so this is how our ad looks so far we have the image we have the text and now we're going to change that and learn more to download now we're pretty much ready to go so all I have to do is just click on publish to submit the ad for review All right, so it's been a few hours since we created our first campaign and our campaign is compliant. So that means our ad was approved and now it's in the learning phase. So we're gonna check that out right now. I'm gonna go here to ad set. You can see that it's in the learning phase. Let's take a look at the ad. You can see the ad right here. We're gonna preview the ad really quick. 
So this is how the ad looks. So what we're going to do is basically we're going to replicate this ad and we're going to use it with a different audience, one of the four audiences that we have previously created. So for that, we can go back to our main campaign. We click on the campaign name and what I'm going to do is click on duplicate. So now we just go to existing campaign. We're going to use the same campaign that we previously set up because we're going to be using the same ad. We're simply changing the audience. I don't want the existing reactions and I'm going to click on duplicate. All right. So as you can see, because this is a copy of that first ad, it's still using that previous audience of people who follow my fitness page. It has already selected the pixel. It has already selected the conversion event. So I'm simply going to uh, change this to number two. And we're going to scroll down same budget, 2050 cents. So scroll all the way down and this is where we need to change our audience. So if I click on use save audience, you can see that this is the audience that we selected for the first ad. Now from here, if I wanted to change that to the fitness niche, which is another one of our audiences, I can just simply click on that and it would change to that as you can see right here. But what I'm going to do is basically go and use one of the custom audiences that we also created. So I just go to create new audience and click on search existing audiences. You can see these are the audiences that we created. One is the lookalike audience based on the people who engage with our fitness page. And the other one is people who have engaged with our fitness page. So I'm going to be using this one engage with our fitness page. So the audience for this was about 85,000 people. So now what we need to do is we can specify a little bit more about some of the things that we want for this ad. So for example, I can just go back here and select 21 and select here 45. Uh, we can add more countries. So we're going to just do that. So now we scroll down 21 to 45 is a good uh, age range. Select gender, woman, and we're not going to do any of this detailed targeting options because we're already using a custom audience based on the people who have engaged with Gym Goddess. So we're not going to basically have to select any of these options. Just basically, uh, let's say English is one of the only options that we need to select. So we have all that. This is the custom audience we're using. Scroll down. We don't have to select manual placements because we already copy all the settings from the first ad. So everything's already set up. So we just hit publish. So by the time you finish replicating your ad sets and changing those audiences, your ad campaigns should start looking something like this, different types of ad sets targeting different audiences that you have previously created, but all using the same ad. So if we actually click here, we're going to go see those ads and you can see that it's basically the same image, same text changing the tracking link that's the only thing we're changing in the ad itself you can see that i have a pretty low budget of just two dollars and fifty cents per day because my goal is to know how much i'm gonna pay for each lead on these specific audiences so i created this facebook ads campaign diagram to explain how you should structure your campaigns to ensure that you have everything organized and you just saw me set up multiple campaigns and replicate some of those ads with different audiences. And that's exactly what you should be doing. So campaign number one is using audience number one, but using the same ad. So you're not changing the image ad or the text on that ad. Then we replicate that same ad to a different audience, which will be audience number two. And then we replicate that same ad again to audience number three. So you should be replicating that ad multiple times, depending on how many audiences you have and you want to test. Let's say that you want to test another image ad. So you would create a second campaign, utilize the same process, create an ad for each specific audience using that new image ad that you just created. So, so just like we did in the previous lessons where we created a new image ad for my hook offer. And basically I create different ad sets within those campaigns, targeting 
different audiences and of course facebook will provide you with some good data letting you know which ads are getting the most clicks which ads are getting better engagement and conversions on top of all the tracking you're already doing within your facebook affiliate funnel so in the next lesson we're going to talk about how to manage your advertising budget because this probably looks like a lot of ads to set up and you might be wondering how much money should i spend on advertising to ensure that I start getting good leads and of course making some sales from my affiliate offer. All right, so in this lesson, we're gonna talk about ad spend and offer cycling. I'm gonna explain exactly what that is. But first, I wanted to give you a quick update because it's been 24 hours since I launched my second campaign for my affiliate funnel. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here uh, because all three ads have been approved. You can see all three ads are in the learning phase right now. We're already getting leads into the funnel and it's telling me how much I'm paying per lead. So far yesterday, we spent $3.24 but keep in mind that the daily budget on these ads, because we're simply testing to see what happens, uh, it's $2.50 per day for each ad because the more ads we have, the better. We're gonna know exactly how much we're gonna be paying for each specific audience. But something really cool happened because I logged in into my ClickBank account this morning and guess what? We made our first sale, $22.49 from our first sale. Now this usually doesn't happen that fast, but I was happy to see that we made our first commission of $22.49. I've been testing a few ads, over 50 leads, basically to get some traffic into the funnel so I can show you guys the tracking process and all of this that you needed to set up. So that first sale could have come from our follow-up process or perhaps from one of the leads that got into our funnel yesterday. So as you can see, this process works. It takes a little bit of knowledge and time to set up. Once you have this money-making machine, all you have to do is start sending traffic to it. Now let's talk about ad spend. When testing ad sets and audiences, it's best to keep your budget small. Set yourself a fixed daily budget depending on the offer. So for example, if your affiliate offer pays a $20 commission per sale, if you spend up to $20 per day, it means you'll need one sale per day to break even. This means you won't be making a profit, but you'll still be building your email list, which is how you'll make a profit later. Here are some ad spend examples that I want to show you. Let's say that you only have a budget of $20 per day. Well, with $20, you can set up four ads at $5 each, or you can set up eight ads at $2.50 each which is exactly what I've been doing over the past few days. You can run these ads for about five to seven days. And some of the things that you can test are cost per lead, your image ad, custom audiences, and lookalike audiences, your demographics. For example, if you're targeting one country or multiple countries at the same time, or specific interests. Now let's say you have a budget of just $40 per day because your affiliate offer pays a little bit more. Your affiliate offer pays a $50 commission. So that means if you set up a budget of just $40 per day over the next five to seven days, you can set up eight ads for $5 each, or you can try four ads at $10 each. The more ads you're running, the more data you'll be able to pull. Let's say you have a budget of $60 per day. The bigger your budget, the more ads you can test within reason. What I mean by within reason is that you don't want to go crazy testing 20 different ads at the same time. You want to test one or two things at the same time. And specifically, what I like to stick to is custom audiences. Like I've shown you over the previous lessons, I've set up multiple custom audiences, lookalike audiences, and I've tested multiple ads using those audiences, but basically without changing the ad itself. So the only changes that I've done so far are my custom audiences. This will give me information about how much is a lead for each specific audience. And then if I wanna improve the cost per lead, I can simply just start changing and playing with those ads to see if I can get the cost per lead down and get even more leads into my funnel. After testing for five to seven days, your next step is to eliminate ads that are underperforming. Cost per lead or cost per click too high, based on landing page conversions and tracking, leaving only ads that have maintained a high opt-in rate at a lower cost for your targeted audiences. The goal is not to simply find cheap ads, but find ads 
that can run for long periods of time and then scale those ads slowly, increasing its budgets five to $10 every other day or creating similar lookalike audiences to set up more ads. The ultimate goal is to get the commission sales coming from your main affiliate offer to cover your daily advertising costs while building your email list from highly targeted audiences, which is how we really make money because the money is in the size and quality of your email list. So now let's talk about offer cycling. Our goal is not to simply make money from our main affiliate offer. Although having sales instantly coming from your affiliate campaigns on Facebook is really nice, that's not actually the goal. What we're trying to do is build a targeted email list from our niche that we can use over and over again to make money. But because we're using a Facebook affiliate funnel and we're also using a custom hook offer, this means that we can simply cycle through different affiliate offers in the same niche. So as discussed in the previous lessons, we have set up our hook offer, which never changes because we're targeting one specific niche. In our bridge page, we're actually promoting our affiliate offer and the sales coming from that affiliate offer is gonna give us the budget to continue to expand our advertising on Facebook. However, let's say that for the next seven to 14 days, you're running multiple ads, you're spending 20, 30, $50 per day, and you're not able to get any sales for your affiliate offer. Well, this is where offer cycling comes in because instead of continuing to send traffic to that affiliate offer that's simply not converting for you, meaning that you're not getting affiliate commissions, even though you're sending high quality traffic to that affiliate offer, what you wanna do is simply cycle to another similar affiliate offer. So you go to an affiliate network, it doesn't matter if it's ClickBank or something else, and you find an affiliate offer in the same niche as your hook offer. And we send the traffic that lands on that bridge page to basically another affiliate offer. And basically we're gonna be doing the same thing using a different image to send the traffic from that image to our affiliate offer. With that affiliate offer, you create an email sequence that is going to follow up for the next five, seven, 14 days with the people in your email list. Now, the beauty about offer cycling is that you don't have to change the ads. You don't have to change your hook. All you're changing is the affiliate offer that your leads will see once they land on your bridge page. So if offer number two does not work for the next five to seven days, you're not getting at least one or two or three sales, then you can move on to another offer. And that way your affiliate funnel continues to get traffic, but you might decide to change your affiliate offer to something that pays perhaps a little bit more commissions or perhaps something happened with that affiliate offer. Having the flexibility of having one fixed hook offer with ads already approved that you know are compliant with Facebook, that Facebook will not shut down those ads because you're running a custom hook offer that you created yourself, gives you the flexibility and freedom to experiment with different backend offers. And at the same time, you're building your email list as big as possible because you know that the money is in the list. The bigger your email list, the more likely you are to get sales. So this is what offer cycling is and something that you should definitely be applying in your testing phase. And as you saw in the beginning of my video, because I had a sale coming in from my main affiliate offer, I have proven that my affiliate offer can sell. And so now I have to find a way to scale my ads and send even more traffic because I know that my affiliate offer is selling. But if in the next 14 days, I stop getting sales for my main affiliate offer, I can simply go back to my Facebook affiliate funnel, change my affiliate offer to something very similar or something that pays a little bit more commissions, not have to touch my Facebook ads or anything in regards to Facebook or my hook offer, continue to build my email list and still make affiliate sales. Now in the next lesson, we're really gonna dive into how to profit from your affiliate campaigns and how to truly make the money from your Facebook affiliate funnel. There's a well-known secret in the online business industry. The money is in the list. The bigger your email list, the more money you can make. Facebook is a tool, but your email list will always be your path to building a sustainable long-term affiliate marketing business. Let's talk about why building your email list is the secret 
to succeeding with your Facebook affiliate funnel. Number one, you're not relying on Facebook for sales. You're simply using Facebook as your traffic source to build your email list. Number two, if your ads or Facebook account gets shut down for any reason, you'll still have your email list. Number three, Facebook ad costs can change year to year due to competition and other factors. Your email list will still be there. Number four, the bigger your email list, the more profit you'll make since you'll be able to send targeted traffic to any offer anytime. I'm going to show you exactly how you can set your Facebook affiliate funnel for success, how you can profit over and over again from your email list by doing just one thing. So in the beginning of this course, we talked about setting up our Facebook affiliate funnel and why you needed a hook offer in order to build your email list. In fact, I specifically mentioned that this is where the real money is made, not necessarily with your main affiliate offer, because as we discussed in the previous lesson, you can cycle through different affiliate offers if the one you're using, it's not converting well. But even if you find a high converting affiliate offer to use with your Facebook affiliate funnel, the real money is always in the email list because whether you're paying for traffic, whether you're using Facebook ads to send targeted traffic to your hook offer, or you're simply using your organic posts from your Facebook page, no matter how big your Facebook page is to send traffic to your hook offer, you'll still be able to build your email list, whether it's free traffic or paid traffic using Facebook ads. So while you're building your email list, whether you're spending money on ads or not, if you really want to profit from your Facebook affiliate funnel, you need to set this up, which is setting up a following sequence for new affiliate offers. This is going to allow you to basically profit from your email list over and over again. So let's say you have 100 leads that came in through your funnel and out of those 100 leads perhaps one or two people decided to buy your affiliate offer oh that's great you just made some affiliate commissions but should you stop profiting from your email list of course not so that's why you move on to a new affiliate offer every couple weeks you can pick a new affiliate offer from a different network so if you're building a niche specific email list in my case i'm building a fitness email list i can promote as many fitness and health related affiliate offers as i want to that specific email list because i own that email list this is why your facebook affiliate funnel has one purpose which is to build your niche email list let's say you pick a new affiliate offer now in this case you don't have to build a new affiliate funnel because those people are already in your email list so you can send them straight to the affiliate offer if you want to so two three weeks after those people have gone through the sequence that you have created your follow-up email sequence to promote your main affiliate offer you can send a new affiliate offer. So you pick a new affiliate offer, and you can set up a new email sequence promoting that affiliate offer until you start getting some sales. Now remember, you're still using ads, you're still using your Facebook page to send traffic to your hook offer. Nothing about that changes. You're adding more and more people every single day to your email list. And as those people go through your funnel and your sequence and start buying your main affiliate offer, you can then set up more sequences to promote other related affiliate offers to those same people because it's a lot easier to sell to someone who has already purchased from you than to find a new customer so by doing this in week three you're promoting a new affiliate offer perhaps some people will buy it some people will not buy it and then in week five you can pick another affiliate offer and set up a new sequence for that specific affiliate offer so you continue this on and on with five six seven affiliate offers and you set up multiple sequences over the next three to six months. And this would be completely automated, meaning that your only purpose is to use your hook offer to build your email list. Because you're paying for that email one time, but you're profiting from that email over and over again from multiple affiliate offers. And this is how you truly succeed with your Facebook affiliate funnel. The real secret for Facebook affiliate mastery is how well can you build your email list how fast you can build your email list and how targeted 
would that email list be? So if you understand how the Facebook affiliate funnel is designed entirely to build your email list and profit over and over again from multiple affiliate offers, you're not gonna have any problems making profit from whatever it is that you decide to promote because we're not relying on facebook ads to make our sales relying on facebook to generate traffic to build our email list and from our email list is where we'll make the real money now let's talk about how to set this up in kartra how to set this entire process inside of Kartra. Now, in one of the lessons we already discussed how to set up sequences inside of Kartra, but I'm gonna show you how you can set up a sequence that automatically follows another completed sequence. So I'm inside my Kartra account. Under my communications, we're gonna go to communications and sequences. So basically, I'm gonna set up a test sequence to show you how this works. I'm gonna hit create. Our starting rule for this sequence is a little bit different. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the plus sign here and we're going to go to automation. Under automation, we click new automation and we're going to select here if and we're going to select the option that says complete sequence. We're going to select the sequence that we created for our main affiliate offer. We're going to click on add. And basically what this automation will do is once a lead completes my bikini body ebook sequence, then they'll be subscribed to this new sequence we'll be making to promote a new affiliate offer. So we're going to click on save and now you can see the automation is complete. So when a lead completes my bikini body ebook sequence, they'll be subscribed to this specific sequence. So we're going to go to save. So now we have our starting rule for this new sequence. And our first step is to add an email for this sequence. So we're starting a brand new sequence for a brand new affiliate offer that we'll be promoting to our existing email list. So in this case, I'm going to select wait a number of days and hours. Here I can tell Kartra, don't start this sequence a few days after they have completed my first sequence. So I can say to Kartra, just wait three or maybe wait four days before you start sending this new sequence to my email list. And we go and hit next. And we basically follow the same process of adding any email to our email sequence like we discussed in our previous lessons. So we hit next and we go next. Then we're gonna click on send if and we're gonna put on anyone reaching this step. So we're gonna click on add and we hit next single email and hit next so i don't have an email ready just to finish the process and show you so we're going to go to next and for automation we don't need any automation so we're going to click on create so now we have our first email for a brand new affiliate offer obviously you first have to go and choose a new affiliate offer to promote, whether that's on ClickBank or any other affiliate network, you have to grab that affiliate link, create that email, and then add that to your sequence. And then you can add two, three, four emails to this sequence if you want to the same process you follow to create your first sequence for our main affiliate offer. So once we have a few emails, all we have to do is make sure our starting rule is connected to our first email, and then we follow our second email, third email, and so on and so forth. After you have created all your emails for your new affiliate sequence, then you have to make sure you activate those emails and then go and click on done and exit. So remember, you can create as many sequences as you want. You can create sequences for three months for three, four affiliate offers. This is how you make the big money with your Facebook affiliate funnel. This is how you truly build a sustainable business that's gonna be there for the next six, 12, 24 months and continue to bring you money every single month by using Facebook as a tool with your Facebook affiliate funnel to build your email list and make affiliate commissions. Now that you have completed this course, you're one step closer to start earning those sweet affiliate commissions. I've shown you the process, tools, and strategies you need to implement to run successful affiliate campaigns using Facebook. This new knowledge is another way for you to monetize your Facebook page. We started this course with this quote by Walt Disney. 
the way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. It's time to start doing. Here's a list of some of the steps that you need to take if you want to start taking action today. Number one, start by signing up for one or two of the affiliate networks recommended in the course. Number two, based on your current niche Facebook pages, pick an affiliate offer to promote using that page. Number three, start coming up with ideas for your hook offer based on your selected affiliate offer. Number four, sign up for Kartra to start building your funnel using my funnel as the foundation or create your own using your preferred funnel builder. Number five, add all your tracking codes and ensure your funnel is ready to start adding leads into your email list. Number six, when you have your funnel set up, begin sending traffic to your funnel using the piggyback method. Number seven, set up your first few test ads and track your conversions and sales for your main affiliate offer. Cycle the offer if necessary. Number eight, start looking for more niche related affiliate offers to set up your automated sequences. Hey, if you made it this far, then congrats on completing the course. You're going to find everything that I talked about in the description of this video. And also make sure you check out Facebook Income School 2.0. The link is going to be found in the description below. So now it's really up to you. A lot of the people who are going to be watching this course will not do anything, will not take action. If you want to be in the small percentage of people who actually take action and build success using the information in this course, then make sure you check out all the links in the description below. Go out there, go get it. I know that you can do it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the course, share it with someone and also subscribe to my channel for more future videos. This is Lester Diaz and I'll see you guys in my next video.